Uh, well, first of all, I want to thank you for taking the time, and I want to congratulate you on magnificent playing in Mahler 5 on Saturday night. I really enjoyed it. And uh, we recently heard a performance in Montreal, the Montreal Symphony at the end of Maybe no Paul Merkelow, the yeah, principal trumpet there. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, but I was very interested in in how you would approach the beginning of Model 5, because uh, for any trumpet player, it, it must be almost terrifying, because you, you're the only one who plays to start this yeah. enormous symphony on its way. So uh, perhaps you could tell me how you approach it. I can only think of three other pieces where the trumpet starts, just the wrong pictures in that exhibition. The Schmidt's Fourth Symphony we did last year, and uh, another one. Rienzi. Rienzi. <laughs> <laughs> so it is uh, quite a spot to be in. I think it's so important to uh, that you're into the mood of the piece that you're starting. It's Mark Charles March, Female March. So I actually, uh, I would say a couple of minutes before I, I'm about to perform, I to put myself in another kind of frame. I imagine a procession, a funeral procession. I imagine caissons and a solemn ceremony. I just try to get myself in that kind of frame of mind. And, uh, and I've played the notes so many times that you know, I know it's cold. I really know technically what to do. You know, it's none of that, but I really want to get into the spirit of that opening. Because I think it has to be really solemn and, and powerful. It can't be just kind of casually played. It a real pathos to it. And so that's uh, <coughs> one way of doing it. And it actually helps me in terms of kind of calm, too, because uh, being in the spirit of the music is always more helpful than if you're just thinking about playing too much. You can get kind of overwhelmed right here. Too nervous, you might say. The feeling of music helps you. And the spirit of the music always helps me a lot. And what did Eschenbach say about that solo. Did he have any ideas that uh, he asked you to bring to the? No, he actually did that, that I can really think of. Uh, yeah, we worked on a couple of uh, the opening trip should be quick. Of course, I know that, but he, he just emphasized that again. Uh, intonation, certainly about some tuning you mentioned, could have been a little better. And uh, other than that, he really didn't say very much. He kind of communicates with. Sometimes the words, but also the way he looks in his spirit. And, and uh, you know, it gave me one, too, to come in. Some conductors don't. Leonard Slatkin in, in 2002, just, he would not conduct. He just let you play and then bring the orchestra in when it comes. And a fair amount of conductors do that, too. Yeah, whenever you feel ready. Just you, you, you play the opening, maybe uh, six bars, brings the orchestra in. But that's what I did conduct. I would say, uh, what did he say? I don't think he said too much about, like I said, the mood of the piece. I think he knows we know the piece kind of, but, but he still indicates a lot with his own body language and his facial expressions, which great conductors do, how the piece should be played. His tempos, uh, gestures, determine kind of our own to the style that we play. Well, I did an interview with uh, Maestro Eschenbach. Uh, just before the last performance of the Mahler, and we talked about uh, the instrument, the trumpet, and he seems to have a preference for German trumpets, for rotary valve instruments, mm -hmm. uh, and he indicated that he would like to see you and the section uh, have those instruments available. Mm -hmm. for no, how do you feel about that? I think it is uh, very appropriate. Uh, <clears throat> in the past, we've used German trumpets on, on certain works, not the biggest romantic German works, the Bruckners and the Mauer and Strauss. We don't do that. But Beethoven or Mozart or Haydn, Schubert, Schumann, Brahms, we certainly have used those in home uh, instruments for that occasion. German trumpets, we call them. The German trumpet is a smaller board, it's got a bigger bell, it's not quite as penetrating or as projecting as a American style trumpet, piston trumpet. And naturally, him being Germanic, that's what they do over Germany, they play those German trumpets. It's interesting though, they play German trumpets here, but in the rest of the world, most people do play piston trumpets. So, it's a German thing, kind of. 
and then the people will pick that up and play a German tempo to accommodate the conductor or the, the repertoire case. Because the German trumpet also helps you play really softly really well. You can get really down because it has more resistance. And the, more of a blended kind of sound with the horns and, and woodwinds. The marsh, more martial piston trumpet. So there is a difference in sound. It's also played different. They feel different in the play. So it takes them getting used to it. Yeah, it, it would be difficult for, for you, accustomed to the piston trumpets, uh, to switch back and forth, I would think. As you say, you need to get used to it. So it's, it's a thing you have to be comfortable with before you can do it regularly, right? If we were to do this, if he really wanted this a lot, we would just practice the horns more than we do now. Now we just kind of pick it up a week before and get used to it. But it would have to be a regular part of the practice routine. So you really are used to the intonation of the response. And, uh, you know, the notes are in a kind of different spot than they are with your regular piston horn. So there are things to adjust to. That's true. And uh, I was going to say one other thing. The, the dynamics, too, is that someone adjusting because I feel the German trumpet again don't put out quite as much sound. It's not quite as projecting. So the rest of works is kind of used to what we normally do with our piston trumpets. But with that, it, you know, we can't quite do as much. It's, it's less. So maybe that's what he wants to. Some people say they want German trumpets because they won't be as kind of overpowering, which is a, considered kind of a problem in uh, among trumpets. They tend to dominate too much. So that may be, but I don't know. I don't know.